All right, so it's a little cold in Oklahoma right now, just a little chilly, and we got some concerned PETA people that want us to protect the animals. Uh, it's cold. It's got a little brisk wind, so I'm uh, making them happy by helping with this makeshift fort. Yeah, but what fort. are we gonna do? I, I thought you had it figured out. Um, we're gonna put this tarp over a bunch of bales of hay and this table and try to give these little critters some time to escape from the wet. And uh, let's just, I think they're just like playing hooky in school today and say, you know what, you remember we used to make forts in our living room? Hey, you got something I can play. Something that ain't gonna fall on their heads though. Well, then we need to get a brick. No, it can fall this sequel. Oh Lord. I got a couple of bricks. Yeah, you do. These two right here eating up some food, getting ready for the cold weather. It's a, it's a good. Too big and then it's gonna fall. So what are we gonna do? We need to stand the table back up. You want my sledgehammer? Four. No, it's gonna fall on a goat's head. That's well, so hard luck with goats. You did like this. Don't pull tight. There you go. Uh uh. Uh uh. Is that gonna hold? Yeah. Let go. Let go. There you no, go. The wind just got. The wind. No. So that's how you redneck. Well, if we had that before your duct tape, it'd probably work. Yeah. All right. So that was standing behind the camera helping us out today. Okay, we need to stand. AKA Mimi. We need to stand it back up. We're gonna be. Re we're gonna figure out some engineering here. Pause your video. All right. So we got a little table now. They're already. You think that'll work? I'm just trying to Oh, ooh. If you had something heavy enough, you could even drink it to that table. Oh, yeah. You have clamps? Nope. No clamps? Nope. No, nope, but you could take it to the table, and then you put that, that weight, put one of them buckets up on them table. There we go. All right, so this is the crew that's working on it. There you go. Look at this. Oh, I just stepped in cattle. Jesus, I'm in my new slides. Well, that's what you get for wearing new slides out here. You should be rocking some of these. Don't mind my zoom function. Just admiring the good work of these young people. Okay. So they're getting. Oh, that 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 worked good with the wind. Pulled a little far. You see that? This cow pile you just pushed up. You could always scoot the. T you can always scoot the table a little closer to the hay instead of pulling the tape. Yeah. Yeah, we will. But it needs to be tucked way down inside there or taped or stapled. Can you get a staple gun? Well, I need yeah. No, I don't. I need more. You need more slack? slack. All right, she needs more slack. You can have as much as you need. We can move this table. <gasps> it's so cold. It's cold over there. Can you get it? You need my hand? There you go. Jump on over there. <laughs> Well, she's doing that for y'all's entertainment, I guarantee you. Yeah. She lying. <laughs> All you little girls watching this, you never need a man. You do it on your own. We, don't, nice. we don't support that. A man is nice, but you ain't got to have one. Listen, you saw how quickly you saw how quickly she handed off that camera to me. So, oh, so I could do some real work instead of standing there staring at it. Hey, a real woman. I'm doing the videographer because that was too hard for her. <laughs> she didn't like that. She'll hear it later. <laughs> All, right. All right. There you go. So you don't need lunch. You got grub worms right there. Penny, you leave the whole snow alone. Hey, y'all doing a good... Penny, get off there. That gum just ain't no trampoline. Yep, yep. Get out of there. You know what you need? You need a staple gun. You know what you need? You need some bungee strap. You know what you need? Tell me what I need, Nene. Yeah, this is a family-friendly show. You need to control your your tongue. All right. There we go. 
Look at that. Hey, quit pulling. Hey, come get that sledgehammer that's up underneath there. I'm gonna put it on this table and you're gonna be good to go. Where is that? It's underneath. You gotta climb in underneath. She's gonna check it out. There it is. Right there. It's gonna hold it where it needs to go. All right, now the goat's supposed to get in here. How? <coughs> hey, why don't you pick up that little saw and put it on the table too? That'll definitely hold it down. Listen, I'm here for the brains. They're here for the brawn. What did he just say? He's here for the brains and we're here for the brawn. Ew. I think most of the ideas that we've come up with so far have, have failed. <laughs> You'd only need to come up with one if it was good, not ten. Oh, that's good. That's good in there. You didn't get beat up today, sir. All right, so we made us a little makeshift goat fort house out of tarp. Hey, can we tuck this under? Yes, you can. We made it out of uh, uh, hay, an old farm table we had in the garage. Just a random tarp out here, and then these little lovely animals that just want to get in the way and think they're helping, but they ain't. Bradley's scared of going underneath there. There you go. All right. If you guys want the floor plans to this uh, little goat farm thing, just give us a shout. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You just kind of wing it, as you can tell. I can't find a place to. Jerry. You need a hand? Yeah. All right. They need muscle. We actually just need to pick this up just a little bit so go. can get underneath it. Okay, just one extra little. There you go, little pinch point. What you goats thinking of your little new home, huh? Oh, you're looking for the WD-40s underneath there. It's still. Hey, guess what? It's, it's out good. of the wind. It's, it's good. good. It's good. All right, Nana, you did a great job today. You earned your keep. Mama, you need to avoid that poop next time. Look at this. Look at, Look at this cowgirl wearing slides out and she, she need to learn. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining. And uh, we'll uh, include you in on our little shenanigans later. Okay, bye. Okay, so the stomach bug has hit our home. <sighs> Birdie has had it for about four or five days with fever, and now I have it, and my daughter Maya has it. Um, I was able to get Birdie's fever down with some Tylenol, so now she's up playing. Uh -uh. Birdie, say hi. So you not been feel good. And then I've got little Stets in here. Um, the boys are, nope, we don't hit. We don't hit, that's not kind. That's not kind. Give them huggies and say sorry. Stetson, come here. The boys have not gotten it yet. Although Bubba Slayton, who's in the room in there, he said that his belly's been hurting, so we're just praying that it doesn't keep spreading as our children fight. <laughs> Slayton, come here. Excuse how I look, I feel horrible. This is Slayton. Does your belly still hurt, Slayton? It does. Can you say hi? Hi. You saying hi, Stetson? 
<laughs> but I just wanted to get on here. Um, Jared's at work. Um, he's not been feeling well either. Um, but with him being self-employed, he's trying to make it work. Um, My baba. He still has his two trucks. They're still broke down. He took the vehicle this morning, the one that we're sharing, um, and then he brought it back. He is going to go buy another truck, I believe, um, one that's a little more reliable and gets better gas mileage. The other two he has, once they're fixed, they're going to be just job site trucks um, because they literally get probably 10 miles to a gallon, um, which is horrible. We're filling up basically every day with those. So we're hoping that this next truck we get, Stetson's throwing a ball, this next truck we get um, will get at least 20 miles to a gallon so we're not filling up as often and it'll be a better like everyday driver um, as far as like when he's going and doing bids and things like that. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, we are sicklies today and I'm hoping it passes soon. Um, so if you could keep us all in your prayers, that would be awesome. Thanks. Brush your beard. Let's see. Come on. BB wants to see. You got boogies? Ew. Flick it out of the car. <laughs> Bubba, brush your beard. Show daddy. He's coming. Get the get the comb. Let's see. Brush your beard. Uh -oh. <laughs> Do it. Come on. Come on, Slayton. Show me. What are you doing? He's are brushing, you brushing his beard. <laughs> Give me that. That's for my mustache. <laughs> Silly boy. All right. You ready to go get in your seat? We got to go.